Hey, it's Future Amber, and it is March 21st, 2014. I'm gonna be honest, it has not been the best week, but um, I think I've gotten the over the horrible hump of tragedy <laughs> this week. But Eve is here. Eve's here. You my puppy. She's such an evil dog, but I love her so much. She's such an evil dog. She's an evil dog. She, um,. She learned how to jump out of her pen, so we can't have the pen now, and I, we're thinking about getting a crate, and I don't, and th that whole idea doesn't sit well with me, but, um, I don't know, maybe it'll do her some good when we're not home, so she's in the house, because I came home today, and, um, the bathroom mat was really a lot of pieces. <laughs> it wasn't destroyed, but it was a lot of pieces missing. She ate our remote. It's just jacked up. You get it? Jacked up. There's a button missing, but it still works. It still works, so we're good. So on Sunday, I went to my boyfriend's family's house to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, and there was a ton of people there. <laughs> so, but I think it's nice that, you know, his family's close, because my family's not close, and we don't do anything for St. Patrick's Day because we're not Irish. I mean, I'm like 12%, that's basically it, but... Um, we took Eve with us, and she basically was... She was like the, she was the, the center of attention. She was the life of the party, I feel like, you know? And then she got chased around by little girls and then she got to clean up all the scraps underneath the table. <laughs> Any type of crumb she found. And then it was, oh my God, it was ho so horrible. She got to the garbage, there was a garbage on the floor and then there was like two giant like hunks of beef or whatever and I had to like get it and like pull it out of her throat. It was like two giant, she was like gonna swallow the meat hole. It was crazy. So let's talk about past Amber. Past Amber is talking about an interview she had last year with DGA. When I had that interview, it was just after I had that interview, it was horrible. I felt so bad because I knew I wasn't gonna get in because I fucked up that interview so much. Like I've done such great, I can do really great interviews, but for some reason that one was just horrible. It was so bad. I didn't know what to say, I was choking on my words, I was late first off, that is, that's, that's like you're, you're done, that, you're just done. I feel like I learned a lot from that experience because I knew it was my fault, um, I talk about how my ex at the time, because I wasn't with him at the time, and we were hanging out, it's like, it's stupid because I realized even like a couple days after the fact, I'm like, I just don't make the right decisions when certain people are around. And I don't like having people like that in my life. I don't like having people affect me that in that way. So I'm glad that I recognized that at that point. I'm like, he is just affecting me in the worst way. And some people just, you know, bring up the best in you. Some people bring up the worst in you. And just like this, I think he brought the worst out of me. Like, and I hate saying that, but that really is what, you know, it seems like was happening. So the interview, I was really hoping, trying to convince myself that I did good in this interview, and but the thing is, one really frustrating thing about this interview is that she asked like the most obscure questions about things that I didn't even know why she was asking. She asked about one of my feature films, one of my first ones too, um, an indie project that I didn't, I didn't get paid for, and she asked about this, and she's like, oh, and then she started really downing like the, the indie film industry, and I was like, I didn't really know what to say besides like, in my head, I'm just like. Well, you know, people gotta start somewhere, kind of thing. So, um, I I don't know. It, it just told everything about that interview. It totally caught me off guard. Yeah, I just blew it. I just totally blew it. I knew it. I knew it. People who work in film have to be really, really tough and like really know what they want. And I, man, I went in there like this meek, fucking little girl or something. I was a little girl, so lost. That is the story of my life. Little Girl So Lost is the theme of my life, I feel like. <laughs> um, I feel like I don't have it together, like some people, but you know what? What I've heard in life is that no one's got their shit together. So, that's the lesson that we're gonna learn from future Amber, is that no one's got their shit together. No. It's all about uh, who fakes it the best, or something, I don't know. But let's say bye to Eve. Oh, Shine's waking her up. So I guess that's it for um, future Amber. Everyone say bye to Eve. Everyone say bye to Eve. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that is it. I'll see you guys next week.